Yep, yep, yep. I know that you want to capitalize on what you're up to. I know that you want to capitalize on all of your ability to express exactly what it is that you feel about, that you care about, that you have an urge to let forth. And I know that deep down you would really like to be able to make money from that. I know what it's like. I know what it's like to be able to really want, expect, hope, wait for your first thousand dollars, your first two thousand bucks, your first five thousand dollars in a month. It's fun. It's fun once you achieve that. And then more. It's very fun getting to ten thousand, fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars in a month. It's really, it feels great. It feels rewarding, refreshing, confident, confidence building. Yes. And yet, it starts with this: your truth, said in a unique way, unlike anybody else. Your ability to express yourself in a personable, zesty, fearless way that allows you to be able to tap into what you truly care about. That's important. It's so much more important than following scripts because it liberates your soul. It's the art of fearless self-expression. That is exactly, in fact, what will get you to those places of a few thousand dollars or more for an opportunity to assist people. How cool is that? <laughs> you know... I've spent a lot of time doing this. In my life, I've done a lot of this. I've been helping people extract and unleash their own badassery. Live performance, live presentation, live public speaking, and video content. Whether it be live stream like this. Or whether it be something else. Your ability to explain what you truly care about is more important than you might even realize. Here's my proof. When you... Scripts are like wearing someone else's underwear. <laughs> ah, Facebook user, yes. Let me know who this is when you on your next one, because I agree with you. <laughs> that might be Bob. Is this Bob? Yeah. So when you go looking for various streaming TV shows, not even TV shows anymore. It's Netflix. It's online stuff. It's the music that you care about. Who do you care about? What music? If I say, if I ask you, what's your favorite music? What is it? What's your favorite music? Go ahead. Bring me an example. Something that is truly, that impresses you and compels you. And when you think of it, you say, oh man, I wish I were listening to such and such a tune by that person right now. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. So this Facebook user says yes. <laughs> and that might be just somebody agreeing with me, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that there's, an, there's a band that used to exist called Yes, and their music was fantastic. And they had an album called Close to the Edge, and the song Close to the Edge itself was magnificent. And they had a very popular song called Roundabout, which you may or may not have heard of before. Roundabout was great. It was off the album called Fragile. And 
So going with the concept of yes. Now, it so happens that yes was a magnificent band from the 60s, 70s, and even early 80s. And they had great, great album covers by a guy named Roger Dean. You can look it up. And it so happens that if you tell me whatever tunes by whatever composer, singer, songwriter you love, that stuff is unique. No one created that but that person. It doesn't matter if it's Beyonce or yes or Stravinsky, or Shostakovich, or Samuel Barber, or Spoken Word by Maya Angelou, or Nina Simone, or the Beastie Boys, or Steely Dan, or Prince, or uh, The Replacements, The Reflectors, gasolina any of these people you tell me you know who was ricky martin <laughs> live in la vida loca you tell me any particular songs if it's country music you know um i can't think of i'm i'm drawing a blank here for a moment um uh southern culture on the skids they were fun Good people. Nice folks, too. And I'll tell you a story about meeting, uh, about meeting one of the guys from the band, yes. But that's just because I traveled around for a living performing and I got to meet all sorts of famous people. And yet, you name whoever you love, whosever music you find grooving in the way that gets you jazzed, and that is unique. And you tell me how valuable it is for them to never have cultivated their own uniqueness. Your uniqueness is your salvation. That's what's going to bring you money and bring you fulfillment in your life. You don't have to make money from it, but if you can cultivate your own uniqueness, you are capable of actually extracting and unleashing your own individuality. Without which, you're just an automaton, a robot, a generic soldier of fortune for someone else's cause. I want you to do what my client Howard recently did. He used my launch. I don't know if you know this. About three weeks ago, I gave a workshop, a masterclass, on a weekend on my exact system that I use to generate a decent amount of money from a $50 item. And you know what my client Howard did? He used my exact system, and we honed his product together, and he launched a $50 item, and he generated, at the day of the event, he generated $5,000. That's without any follow-up afterwards. It's about using systems that work. Everything I do is designed to streamline your understanding of your video badassery with strategy. So I tell you, I ask you, I implore you, I beseech you, name one formulaic scripted template company that has never extracted their own unique individuality whose work you truly believe in and trust and follow and applaud and suggest and recommend to other people. Name one. Because I think it's going to take you a lot longer to figure out one of those that is impressive as opposed to my just saying, 
Name an individual, fascinating, unique company that you support. Is it Apple? Is it Microsoft? Is it Dell? Is it Levi's? Is it Gap? Is it Dolce Cabana? Is it Christian Louboutin? Or whatever type of mustard. What's the mustard that you find to be most tasty and unique? Is it mustard that says the word generic mustard on the front? No. You have a reason. Your uniqueness is no different. So, just putting that out there. This is the art of self-expression, my fine friend. <laughs> Yar. And I repeat, Yar. <laughs>